is our gold medalist in the 2018 Asian Games. Bianca Pagdanganan. It's crazy when you're able to achieve a goal that you set for yourself like years ago. If no one else is gonna believe in you, you have to believe in yourself because that's like my mindset, like no one else can help you but yourself. And what a thrill that Yuka Sasso is here Kung tawagin nila ako, hindi na yung pangalan ko, parang, ho, oh, US Women's Open Champion. <laughs> Hinanap ko na po agad si Rory. Nag-ask po ko ng tips, advice, and nag-video ko ng mga swing niya. So, meron po akong goal na ito yung gusto ko. Right now, I think, I'm still thinking I'm very far of that. I'm still, you know, grinding and trusting the process to get there. Up next, pakikilala po namin sa inyo ang 2021 U.S. Women's Open Golf Champion, the first rookie to win back-to-back -back tournaments in the Japanese LPGA Tour, the number one money earner in the JP or JLPGA Tour last year, a double gold medalist in the 2018 Asian Games. What hasn't she done? And she's only 20 years old. Um, she turned 20 last June 20, and now she's here with us. And what a thrill that Yuka Sasso is here live on Play It Right. And Diane, this is a big thrill for you as well. Oh my gosh, I always love talking to Yuka. My, ever since I met her and her dad a long time ago. So, Yuka, again, congratulations on a recent Salamat win at the US Open. And thanks for being on our show. Okay. Thank uh, you, Din Po. Yuka, kanina sinabi ko na yung mga achievements mo. Pero hindi ko pa sinabi yung pinaka-achievement mo. Qualifying for the Tokyo Olympics for the Philippines. And that's coming soon. Ano mga preparations mo? Going to Tokyo and now you are in uh, Ohio. I understand that you will still be competing in three tournaments to warm up for Tokyo. Anong pakiramdam? Anong experience mo ngayon? Sobrang saya ko po na na-qualify ako for Olympics, of course. Uh, pero um, wala po akong plano na baguhin yung <clears throat> preparation ko for Olympics. I'll just do what I always do for um, to prepare for a tournament. So, yes, I'll just stay normal. <laughs> because it's winning the... Uh the Women's <laughs> Open in the U.S., you've been deluged by requests for media interviews. Um, I guess this has changed your life somehow. The complexion, yung takbo ng buhay mo, para na diba? Because all of a sudden, you're the golf circuit's latest darling. Has your life really changed, Yuka? Um, in some way, nagbago. In some way, hindi. Yung pag sa news po, sinasabi nila na, oh, major champion, you're the major champ. Pag nasa tournament, tapos merong galleries. Yun, sobrang dami nag-cheer. Um, kung tawagin nila ako, hindi na yung pangalan ko. Parang, ho, oh, US Women's Open Champion. <laughs> oh, oh. Yun po yung nagbago. Pero lifestyle ko po never changed. Yung, Ang hindi nagbago, yung six to seven hours a day of practice po pa rin, yung ba? Uh, Or, I mean, yung routine mo? <laughs> Huh? Apo, yung routine po walang po masyadong pinagbago. So you're still working as hard as ever? Kasi I heard you after the US Open, sabi mo nga, right after you won, you said, oh, kailangan ko pang mag-training kasi parang yes. marami ka pang gusto mong matagal yung, yung career mo, no? Apo. So, uh, so, Yuka, yes. one of the dreams na sabi mo na you never expected that you would win the US Open, di ba? Kasi nung... Yes. Sabi mo, pagdating mo dun sa course, you were just like, wow, I'm here, you know, I'm in a major, major, mm -hmm. right? So, but you won. Okay. So, you exceeded yes. your expect your own expectation. And then, another, I think another dream for you was to not just have Rory McIlroy, your idol, tweet you, send you an Instagram message, direct message, ko, wish you luck on the final round, congratulate you after you won. And you, you had a practice round with him. Yes. Yeah. 
Can you make us cuento um, how it was? I mean, being with him, gano katagal kayo nag nasa course, ano yung mga sinasabi niya sa iyo? Um, first after ng tournament, plan po talaga namin na <clears throat> mag-drive back to LA kasi magka-test clubs ako from different um, golf club makers. Um, pero hindi ko naman po na-expect na mananalo. So, nung kahit na nalo, drive back pa din po kami sa LA. And then, nag-ask po ako sa USGA if pwede nila kaming bigyan ng ticket for the men's US Open. Mm. And sabi nila, pwede daw. So, kinuha po namin, pumunta po kami doon. And right after we went there, hinanap ko na po agad si Rory. Eh, naglalaro na po siya noon eh, nasa hole number 7. Naabutan ko po siya sa hole number 7. And then, naglakad po ako kasama siya for 3 holes. And we, he, nag-ask po ako ng tips, advice, and nag-video ko ng mga swing niya. Um, and he gave me a pretty uh, good advice as also. Can you share what advice? <laughs> Secret yun. Okay, Akin yun sige, eh. Sige. <laughs> Pakikita na lang namin sa course. <laughs> Opo. Yun ka yung experience mo sa Asian Games. Dalawa yung gold medal mo ron. Tapos yung experience mo sa US uh, Women's Open. What what an achievement. Tapos ngayon yung parating na Tokyo Olympics. Um, what do you consider yung mas mahalaga sa sa'yo? Um, you're going to be representing the Philippines and you did that so well sa Asian Games. So women's open, although you represented basically yourself because individual tournament yon, ganun din sa Japan LPGA, but yet you're also representing the Philippines. Not only that, you're also representing Japan, and it's a very unique um, achievement that parang you're representing two cultures. But in the Tokyo Olympics, you will be in the land of your father's uh, birth, and then you're representing the Philippines. How special is that for you? I'm um, very special. Um kasi ngayon sa mundo na to parang hindi pa nila accept yung yung dalawang country sa parang half ka. Parang gusto nila malaman kung saan ka talaga galing. Like dapat pumili ka. And that's very hard to do kasi I love my mom's country, I love my dad's country. And so kung pwede lang po sana sa akin eh, i-represent ako yung dalawang country as much as possible. Pero ngayon nga, medyo impossible po gawin yun. And <clears throat> I, I've grown up in Philippines, so I, I've been representing Philippines, no? And to play in Japan Olympics in Tokyo and to represent Philippines, I think that's one of the signs na, na parang dapat maging proud ako sa pagka dual citizenship ko no i think and i'm very happy na magagawa ko yun um soon well i think uh, the people not only of the philippines but also of japan <laughs> are cheering for you and uh, i think that's really really special uh yuga but yes. pag-usapan natin yung ano yung women's open because you went up against a japanese veteran someone who has won six japanese lpga titles Yes. Tapos nakapanalo na ng three LPGA titles, gano'n. Um, a veteran 26-year-old campaigner, you went to a two-hole playoff, tabla pa kayo, and then you went to sudden death. You sagged that 10-foot birdie putt to win the championship. Um, ano yung feeling mo, no? And people were saying, iba to si Yuka. At that time, you were 19 years old, you, so you tied part to be the youngest ever to win the Women's mm-hmm. Open. Pero meron akong calculation. I think you're the youngest because you were 14 days before your 20th birthday. Si Park was 13 days. So I think oh. you beat her by one day. So I think you should be the one. Anyway, anyway. Um, so yes. when you when you sack that 10-foot birdie putt, Yuka, ano yung pakiramdam mo? Junior pa lang po kami ni... Uh, nasa Hatao ka. We were playing together na um, in Junior World, um, US Women's Amateur. <clears throat> and so we've been known si- we we know each other na for a long time and nung nag turn pro siya i was always cheering for her um and sobrang laki po ng achievement niya no sa Japan and LPGA 
she won how many three events na dito sa LPGA and then sa Japan also and dami na yung majors na nanalo yes. uh-huh. so she's she's really good and I look up to her as a golfer also and nung nung playoff na um yun, nasabi ko din po dun sa interview is makit po yung chan ko hindi ko alam kung bakit parang guto mata eh. So nung sumakit, hindi po ako masyadong naka-focus about winning or losing, no. I'm I was more concerned of my health kasi hindi ko alam kung bakit siya sumakit. And so nung after two holes, masakit pa din po yung chan ko and kinausap po ko ng kadi ko na o oh, baka gutom. So kumain po ako ng banana and <clears throat> after few minutes, it felt good na nung last play of po yon. So, nung second shot, wala, wala na po yung sakit ng chan ko. And so, yung putting for birdie na, na mas nakafocus po ako nun sa putting ko compared sa last two holes. So, I think the banana helped a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the banana was from the Philippines. Baka Philippines, ano so. ba kayo yun? Diba? Important ng the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> after you won the US Open and you know like right now what aspect of your game do you feel na talagang nag-improve at ano yung pang dapat mong ma-improve Okay so meron po akong goal na ito yung gusto ko maging like parang ito yung golf na gusto ko ma-achieve and right now I think I'm still thinking I'm very far of that so mm. I think uh, bago ko masabi na nag-improve ako, I'm still you know, grinding and trusting the process to get there. Wow. So, ano yun? And improvement, what, what parts of your game? All? Uh, everything, yes. Everything. All. Yuka, alam mo, um, I'm amazed kasi the last time I talked to you, I, I mean, before, yung after you won the two tournaments in Japan and then medyo malaki rin yung prize money mo doon that you became nga the top money earner yes. by in the JLPGA and then mm-hmm. ngayon in the US Open sabi nga ni Kinito I mean you won a million dollars so at that time nung nanalo ka ng Japan circuit sabi mo sa akin wala kang wala kang, wala kang nabili kasi iniisip mo okay. lang na parang you were saving your funds para for the para sa medical gastos sa pamilya mo that's what he told me at that time. Kasi, so, yes. mer- what about now? Meron ka bang, did you buy something for yourself, Yuka? Um, wala po. <laughs> wala po kasi ako masyadong gusto eh. Um, siguro, ano, ipon po muna. Kasi marami po pong kailangan for the family and stuff. So, later na po yung sa akin. Ngayon, ano muna, family first muna. Yeah. Well, I wanted to talk about your family because ever since na napapansin ko, lagi mong mention yung mga kapatid mo, your your yes. mom of course and your dad who's been your coach and a uh, main main uh, golf mentor, right? Um tell yes. us a little bit about your family. Kung saan ka pinanganak, how many brothers and sisters you have? Kasi yung picture na sinan mo sa akin, marami kayo. Five ba kayo? Or... <laughs> yes, five. Okay, can five you make us kwento about your family? Yes. Um lima Lima po kami magkakapatid. Ako po yung eldest. Yung sister ko po college na ngayon. And then yung brother ko naman po, he's doing uh, ano yun? karate. He's doing sports also. And then yung youngest po na twins, they're doing tennis. Lahat sila sa Japan, yung family mo naka-base. Tama ba? And um, then yung, you and your dad okay. lang mostly before the pandemic dito sa Philippines to train. and then okay. So, kami, lima po kami magkakapatid. Then, yung twins lang po yung pinanganak sa Japan. Kami po tatlo, pinanganak po kami sa Philippines. Yung sister ko po and brother, they went back to Japan right after na pinanganak sila. Mga two years, dinala na po sila sa Japan. And then, ako lang po yung naiwan nun sa Philippines. Mm. Tapos, dinala po ako sa Japan to study kasama po ng mga siblings ko. And then, we started playing golf ano, at the same time. Me, my sister, and my brother. Tatlo po kami nag-start. Tapos, yung brother ko po yung pinakamagaling noon. Uh, magaling pumalo, ganun. Natatamaan niya yung bola. Ako po hindi. Yung sister ko din magaling eh. 
ako po yung hindi magaling na. <laughs> wow. So, opo. pero ako po yung nag, okay, gusto ko maging pro. Tapos yung sister ko, meron siyang ibang nagustuhan. Brother ko din po nagkarate. So, ako lang po yung nag-golf ngayon. Pero hanggang ngayon, marunong pa din po sila mag-golf. So, we're glad you stayed with golf. If not, because <laughs> now we have a US, we, we have a US <laughs> Open champion to be proud of na Pinay. What can you tell your fans and your relatives in the Philippines as well as your family in Japan? Uh, first, yun nga po, buti na lang po ngayon may social media, no? Meron mga Facebook, <laughs> mga Viber na mabilis tumawag, no? Parang kahit nasa Amerika po ako, sila nasa Philippines or nasa Japan, one call lang, tatawagan ko na po sila and I'm very thankful for that kasi kung wala yung social media, magsusulat pa ako ng letter, ilang days pa bago dumating sa Pilipinas yun. So, um, yun po, una, tinawagan po yung family ko and nag-usap po kami konti and yes, nung meron po kasi junior event sa Japan, na doon po sa Olympic Golf Course ginawa. Siguro mga three, four years ago. So, nakita ko na po yung golf course dati. And, um, about sa preparation, wala, wala po akong plano na paguhin yung ginagawa ko, no? Every tournament for the preparation, no? Um, I'll just do the same, what I always do. And, Let's see from there. <laughs> But play your playing tournaments uh, bago, bago ka lumipad ng Tokyo. Can you tell us? Yes. Um, next week, meron po kaming ano yun? Uh, marathon and then Dao and then Evian. Three tournaments po before Olympics. Yuka, I wanted to talk about your relationship with your dad kasi the mm-hmm. last time, yung dati mong yung kwento mo sa akin na uh, Seven hours a day, kasama mo yung dad mo, training on and yes. off the course, on and off the course. At mm-hmm. hindi kayo nag-aaway, sabi mo at that time. Kasi sinusunod mo yes. lang lahat ng sinasabi niya. So, yes. um, how is your relationship with your dad now? And do you think, how much credit do you give to him para sa mga tagumpay mo? Um, of course, sobrang laki po. Kasi... Siya po yung nandyan lagi um, para supportahan ako sa mga tournaments ko. And um, like dati nga po sinabi ko na hindi po nga masyad nag-aaway kasi nga pinag-uusapan po namin kung ano yung kailangan gawin. So, I, and I think yung away, ano yun eh, parang waste of time. Waste of time po yung away kasi pwede naman pag-usapan ng mga sinsinan and then figure it out later. Galing, no, Kinito? I mean, what an inspiring story, you know, Yuka, and uh, of course, we have Bianca, and then si Doti, and then marami. I mean, bigla, ana, big, all of a sudden, golf is like super duper popular, and dami ng, ano, <laughs> <laughs> a lot yeah. of uh, girls wanna play, wanna play golf, thanks to, thanks to you. Ano pa yung plano mo after Olympics for the rest of the year? Are you gonna take the... Well, you got a five-year tour card to LPGA. Are you going to be playing yes. in the U.S. na? Um, well, inisip ko po na to travel as well. Um, go to Asian tournaments, go to Europe, go to Japan, go dito sa America. At di ko po plano na magstay lang dito, no? Um, to play only in America. I think to play around the world, then dun mo may experience yung mga magagaling na players also na hindi pa nakakapunta dito. And then yung mga golf course also sa mga ibang bansa na wala dito sa Amerika. And I think that will help me improve my game more. <laughs> improve pa daw kinito, di ba? What an amazing um, example of dedication. <laughs> ano? <laughs> Super congratulations, uh, Yoka. And we're cheering for you. you we're praying for you. And we know that you'll make Uh, our country and also Japan proud. Um, Thank you. It's very special that someone like you has two countries backing you up. And uh, for us Filipinos, it's particularly um, heartening to know that you will be representing the Philippines in the Olympics. Congratulations. Thank you, Paul.
Yes. Thank We're going to be cheering for you, sa Tokyo. Thank you yeah, I know, I know you're <laughs> going to handle po. the pressure well. God bless you, and uh, we'll talk Thank to you, you again very soon. Thanks. Thank you. Po. Ingat po kayo. Thank Thanks. you. Before we go, we'd like to thank our sponsor who made this episode possible. ASICS has partnered with the Philippine Olympic Committee to be the official delegation outfitter and footwear of the Philippine team for the Tokyo Olympics. Of course, ASICS wants our athletes to look good, feel good, and compete at their best. You too can proudly wear the colors of the Philippine flag with special Olympic-themed merchandise and shoes exclusively available at ASIC stores and online. You can check out the link below for more information. What an exciting episode, sports fans. Back-to-back -back interviews, first with Bianca Pagdanganan and then with Yuka Sasso, two, I think, of our female heroes yeah. moving to the Tokyo Olympics, both of them with fantastic chances for a podium finish, we're praying for their success. Well, I'm super impressed with the dedication, determination, and the drive of Yuka and Bianca. And you know, I must say that a big contributor to their success is, you can't argue about it, the support of ICTSI that has been funding all their trips. I mean, since they were juniors and continuing on to their professional days. So, Thank you so much, ICTSI, because of your support. We have super champions. And thank you, sports fans, for watching us. We hope that you will continue to cheer and pray for Yuka and Bianca as they compete in the Tokyo Olympics. And guys, join us on our Play It Right episodes. Be part of the action. Be part of the game. And don't forget, um, follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube uh, channel. And remember, here at Play It Right, we're all together. We're all in this together, and it's for sports. This is Kirito Henson. And I'm Diane Castillejo, and we are here to play it right. Play it right. <laughs>